This is a story of money, power and a better world that can emerge from the devastation that COVID-19 and our responses to it have caused. There have been many films that talk about the corruption of our money system, especially since the 2008 financial crisis, but none of them is like this one. Money has two main functions. It's a means of exchange, in other words, it's used to buy and sell things, and it's a store of value, so it can be used to store, hoard, accumulate, and become wealthy with. As long as this is the case, money will gravitate towards stored wealth because money attracts money and because money gives access to the political system. Thank you all very much. This is an impressive crowd, the haves and the have mores. <laughs> Some people call you the elite. I call you my base. <laughs> this continues until so much money is concentrated and so little is circulating that the economy crashes, as it has every 20 years or so on average since the 17th century, and will continue to do so until these two functions are separated. So what we need to do in order to empower ourselves politically is we need to empower ourselves economically, and we can't empower ourselves economically until we take power over the exchange process. During crashes, communities are devastated and ordinary people suffer. During booms, nature is destroyed. So there's never a good part of the boom and bust business cycle. And real democracy is impossible if wealth is concentrated as much as it is today. As US Supreme Court Justice Louis Brandeis said, we can have democracy or we can have great wealth concentrated in the hands of the few. We cannot have both. Cryptocurrencies have shown that alternatives are possible outside the banking system and the state, but they don't separate the exchange and store of wealth functions of money. Groups of people are now building the software and infrastructure of trading systems that do separate these two functions. In fact, billions of dollars worth of trade is already happening in these systems that don't need any conventional money at all. The point is that we want to decentralize the process of credit clearing and we want to put the power in the hands of traders directly instead of allowing the banks to allocate credit for us. A new decentralized economy can be built around it from the edges in communities that can be federated to the global level. You give me something of value, your account is credited, goes up, my account is debited, it goes down. So now you can take the credits that you got by servicing my needs and spend those credits with someone else in the association or the network. And now I am obliged to provide something of value to someone else in the network to work off my debit balance. Well, if the banks can do this credit clearing process amongst themselves, why can't traders do it directly without involving the banks? It's a very simple concept and it will work if we use it. This film is about a group of people who decided to use it. The core is a 19th century idea called mutual credit, whose time has come now that we have the internet, the technology that allows us to federate, a growing awareness of what's happening to nature, and a COVID-induced economic slump that will mean a scarcity of money for most people. But we don't need conventional bank-issued money for prosperity, quite the opposite.